Yo, what's good, family? It's your boy Eddie. Eddie reacts to you. And today, we're going to be doing a review on a Glock 43X and the Glock 26. More of a comparison video. So let's get into it. All right, it. so first off, we're going to go ahead and uh, make sure they are clear. Safe direction, Glock 26. Oh, I got the empty mag in there. Clear. Safe direction. And I want to get into, first off, uh, barrel length. Barrel length um, on the Glock 43X MOS is, I got it at 3.41 3 inches. And the uh, 26 is clocked in at 3.43 inches. Now that's the barrel length. So from there to there, there to tip. All right. Then we're gonna walk. <clears throat> we're gonna go into weight because for me. Weight is a big factor uh, in how I choose my guns for different uh, carries and stuff like that. Um, and with the Glock 26, this one comes weighing in at, uh, without an empty mag, 19.4 um, ounces is what this comes weighing in at. And this guy, the 43X, this one comes weighing in at 16.26 ounces. Completely empty, no mag. And as for the, the Glock 43X loaded, fully loaded, um, this one comes in at 22.96 ounces. 22 ounces. So 23 ounces, basically. And this bad boy uh, comes in at, a, at 25. Point, 75 ounces and you definitely notice the difference obviously for obvious reasons this one's a lot slimmer this one's thicker um you know the 43x is a lot is a lot smaller as far as uh uh width wise goes you know and then with a loaded mag with the mags they are both 10 round mags if that shows up on camera 10 round mags it's just they're dip, you know single stack double stack <laughs> now <clears throat> for the 43x uh, a lot of people that that's their their biggest thing is oh it doesn't know uh, is the the mag capacity mag capacity i choose the 26 over the 43 any day but my friend it's the same same mag capacity stock uh factory mags come what comes with the gun they're both 10 round mags for me oh for me i like i love 43x because you get a better purchase on the firearm it's got the built-in beaver tail so you and then you know you get the longer handle you know so it's easier to control i mean i don't have a problem controlling this one because of the the thickness plus I put rubber uh, rubber on it. Uh, I shoot very good with this guy. Then we're gonna go ahead and get into the. Uh... All right, so let's get back. Uh, I want to talk back about the mag capacities. So as y'all know, this is uh, the forty three X is a single stack mag, so you cannot use it in here. Vice versa, this won't fit in there. But with the 26 you can use the the 19 this is from my my glock 19 the glock 19 mags will fit into the glock 26 mags and you got 15 rounds in the 26 and you can use the 17, the Glock 17 in this, and then also the 32 round uh, Glock mags, uh, extended mags, or the Pro mags. With this guy, so you can't use none of the 
the double stack mags but um shield arms makes a 15 round uh 15 round capacity uh magazine it's a steel mag and what they do recommend on their website they recommend you change your uh release catch there to a metal one because of, because of the metal um the metal frame of the of the shield arms mag now also palmetto state psa they make a mag that's a 15 round as well but theirs has a uh it's a it's a it's a steel mag but it has the the polymer insert um that fits that's on that fits right on and it's it's polymer so you don't have to change your uh your mag catch to a metal when you get the psa ones they fit perfect in they're flush both of them are flush as well um uh, and the reason why they're able to get 15 rounds in a single stack mag is because they're uh the way they designed it is the the bullets they stagger they stagger in here so that's how they're able to get the almost like a double stack mag it's almost basically the same but in a skinnier version you know so that's that's good those are some options um i'll post a uh some screenshots or some screen recording of their of their website i know the the shield arms theirs goes for around 40 50 bucks and it's about the same for the for the uh palmetto state 40 50 bucks <laughs> all right so now let's go let's talk about well, let's talk about the overall length overall length on them um, which they look pretty much the same it's hard to it's hard to uh, like by eye, you know. Um, but uh, the twenty six, this guy's coming at six point five inches, and the forty three, uh, six point five as well. So they're saying they're both the overall length is the same, which. If you put them hand to hand, head to head, I guess you can see it. To me, it seems like the 26 is a little bit longer. The barrel head tip of it. Oh, and then width on this guy, 26. The overall width um, on this one is 1 uh, 1.26 inches. 1.26 inches from here to here and the uh, 43x is 1.10 inches which you can see there that's the big thing about it the slim line easier to to conceal which i don't i mean the thickness of the 26 i don't really notice a difference um yeah, I don't know the difference. They're both they both concealed to me the same. You know, I just like the fact that you get a full finger grip purchase on on the 43X. And you're able to you know some say it control it better. I don't know. The trigger pull the 43 actually feels a little bit it feels a little bit lighter, lighter in the uh, trigger pull. And I think 
it is a little bit lighter on the web, like on their Dimension website for Vogue Perfection. I think the 43 is like slightly, uh, there's a difference, you know. You can feel it. All right, so now for the big question. What or which firearm do I like better? 26 or the Glock 43X? And I have probably a good 2,000 rounds out of the 26. And I think I've ran up close to like anywhere from like about 600 rounds now. Yeah, I'd say a good five, 600 rounds now through this guy. <laughs> I can't choose, man. I can't choose. I, I love the 43X. Um... But man, I shoot, I shoot so freaking well with the, with the twenty six man. This thing, it, it doesn't. I don't miss with this man. It's it's. Man, damn, I don't know. I can't choose, man. I cannot choose. Forty three X. I love it because of the slimness. Um, the full length of the of the handle versus this guy. You know, th this one definitely is a little bit more snappier and you're, it's, for obvious reasons. This one, I control it. The recoil is like a 22 long rifle recoil on my hand. I can't choose, man. I can't choose. What I will say, um, man, nah, I can't choose. I cannot. I cannot choose. I love them both. The snappiness of the of the forty three X, I can deal with it because of the the other pros for me, like the handle. Um, yeah, I can't choose, man. Sorry. <laughs> Can't get that out of me, man. Um, the one thing I do like more about the 43X versus the 26. Now, because of my gen, I don't have like the rail system on here, the Picatinny, where this one comes with the Picatinny rail. Um, so that's pretty cool, but they do make the lights that, that are the trigger guard lights. They kind of, they kind of uh, hover over the plastic here, and then they lock here, and then you can have your lights if you want to. I don't plan on putting any light on on the 26. I love it just the way it is. This guy, I'm gonna definitely put a light on it. You know, thinking about changing out the the barrel and accent a different color. I'm not sure which color I want to go with for all my trim accents, but I definitely want to. Kind of Gucci this one out, you know. This guy is gonna stay the same. It's the OG. It's the OG. Just a clean, sleek look. He runs, but ain't broke. Don't try to fix it. That's what I'm. I'm leaving this bad boy because this one came out the box running strong. So of this one, both of them are real reliable. No, I haven't had an issue with them so far. So yeah, man. If you have a Glock 43X. Or a Glock 26. Y'all let me know what what uh which firearm you like better. And give me a reason why you like the 26 over the 43 and the 43 over the 26. Alright, family. Appreciate y'all watching. Love y'all. Stay blessed. Alright, hey. family. Don't forget to like, share, 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 subscribe. And uh, let me know what y'all think. Let me know what y'all think of these bad boys here. Which, which one are you going with? 43X or the Glock 26?